welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about what I have learned in 2023. It is currently January 2nd, 2024, so we have just started the new year, and I thought about this a couple days ago of how much I have grown in the past year and how much I have learned, so I thought it would be kind of fun just to kind of give my own advice and just go over um, some things that I learned in uh, those past 12 months. They're on various topics. Um, I did not write anything down, even though I said I was going to, um, because this video needs to post tomorrow, so I just kind of ran out of time. But um, we're gonna see what I can kind of jog um, up my memory and talk about some things that I learned in 2023. So let's get started. First thing I can think of in 2023, which is something that was very prevalent in the beginning of the year, um, that I learned is that you should never be friends with your ex. It will not work. That was a big realization for me. As we all know, I was in my the heart of my uh, post breakup era um, at the beginning of the year and was really struggling and trying to find this balance of being friends with my ex just was not working and I don't really see how it could ever work um, for anyone because that is just going to hold you and the other person involved back and in, hold you back in future opportunities and future relationships and all of that so you really need to take that time and focus on yourself and completely forget about that relationship as heartbreaking as it might have been in the moment it will all work out for the better i can promise you that i watched so many tiktoks and advice from other people that were going through similar situations as i was and everything that they said was true it was so crazy that now looking back on it over a year later um, I can with confidence say everything will get better um, but yeah you cannot be friends with your ex absolutely not cut that tie cut that completely out of your life and move on I highly recommend unfollowing on all social media platforms and just really breaking all of that contact because um, that is something that really helped me um, progress and move on with my life um, so happy I did because I have someone so incredible in my life right now that I am just so happy for how everything turned out. That was kind of the first thing that like really popped into my head of how I like thought about doing this video. Another thing I have learned is that it is completely okay to do your own thing and stray away from the typical path or what other people are doing. You need to do what makes you happy and if that is sitting at home after work every day and laying on the couch and you know going to sleep at 8 p.m um then that's what it is because that's what i did for a good chunk of time because that's just how i found so much calmness and so much happiness of just fully unwinding and relaxing after a long day and you know i wasn't going out to bars or going to clubs or hanging out with people super often i've just kind of really took a lot of time for myself and i think that is so important because i mean in this world like friends are going to come and go family can come and go like everyone can come and go in your life but the only person you are truly stuck with for your entire life is yourself so you need to one love yourself and love who you are because you're stuck with yourself for your entire life but enjoy being alone and enjoy spending that time and quality time alone and that was probably one of the best things i did for myself was really just take a step back and just focus on a lot of self-care which can be done in many different ways i obviously love um skincare hair care makeup all that stuff and i love uh putting on and like ambient um jazz music with like a cute festive scene on the tv and reading a book or whatever um so i think everyone should try and add a little more self-care into your um your routine and make yourself a priority and focus on yourself what else did we learn we learned oh another big thing everyone should live alone at some point in your life i learned that and don't take living alone for granted um i obviously don't live alone right now i have two roommates um, but before this, I was living by myself and like completely by myself and I really took that for granted. I started getting super lonely and bored and that's why I thought like moving in with people again would be really great and now I 
really miss living by myself and is having the freedom to do whatever I want at whatever hour, not worrying about bothering other people, not worrying about what other people are doing and not having to share a space. It was so nice and I miss it so much. Um, so I think that should always be a goal for everyone if you don't currently live by yourself, is to live by yourself at one point or another. And living by yourself could also mean living with like a significant other because I mean, you're kind of like one unit and you're not gonna worry as much about disturbing each other and just like being in each other's way. But I mean, ultimately I feel like everyone should live solely by themselves at some point in your life because it is an amazing thing. It is expensive nowadays to live fully by yourself in like a one bedroom apartment or whatever just because rent prices are ridiculous, but it is very nice and it is a very eye-opening experience because there's no one to rely on. It is just you. There, You are the person that does all of the cleaning and keeps the place together and has to deal with the maintenance and has to deal with all of that stuff. It's just you. There is no one to rely on. So it's a very good way to, to open your eyes to all the responsibility it takes to maintain a life. Just being able to get all your tasks done in a timely fashion and just keep the place running. I learned that no matter how much advice people give you or how much advice you have to give, no one is going to listen unless they hear it for themselves. And and what I mean by that is that if you are giving some advice or you are receiving advice, whatever um, way it goes, um, nothing is gonna change unless the person who needs the advice sees it for themselves and, and almost like say that they thought of it almost. Um, I've been given so much advice over the past year and I kind of ignored it and didn't like really listen to a whole lot of it until I like had the realization and made the decision for myself that something was going to change and you know I've given so many people advice over the years and you don't see things change until they themselves decide they want the change. So that goes on on both ends like don't stress over other people's lives because in the end of the day like you need to worry about yourself and you need to be able to make the change for yourself because that's the only way change is actually going to happen. Another thing I learned is that you are so much more capable of achieving the things you want in life and are so much more talented than you give yourself credit for. I hit so many milestones this year career wise and um, so many jobs that I've absolutely loved and I feel like this is the first year of like my performance contracts that I've like really loved every contract I did. Um, there were some years that I just like, you know, I started a new job or a new performance contract and it just like wasn't really my thing or just like, I know it didn't give me a whole lot of joy, but all the ones this year I feel like I really, really loved and I checked a lot of boxes off and I'm just so proud of myself of what I can accomplish and I don't think I give myself enough credit for the hard work I put in and the talent I do have that can get me further in life. I also learned um, you are never too old to start learning new skills. Absolutely not. And this goes for everyone out there, whether you are 16, 22, 52, 102, like it, you can always pick up a new skill and it is only going to make you better. I don't think anyone's ever like learned a new skill and be like, well, that was a waste of my time. Like, no. <laughs> I learned still walking, obviously, and I've developed more with that. I'm learning Italian and I'm, uh, I learned Italian starting this year, actually. I, well, I guess I was already learning Italian for years prior, but I started Duolingo this year and have been doing it every single day for the past 200 and almost 50 days. And um, it's amazing the like progress I've made and how much I've been able to pick up. And it's also helped my Spanish a lot as well too, um, which is a great skill to have to speak multiple languages and it's helped me in work. And um, just, I mean, it's always been a goal of mine and it's definitely not useless. So I would love to go to Italy one day and get to actually use it. But it's just like a fun little thing I do for myself. Um, but highly recommend Duolingo. So if you want to learn a new language, download it because it's completely free. I've done the Rosetta Stone thing and it just doesn't work nearly as well as Duolingo in my opinion. So 
I really like it though. This isn't really something I necessarily learned, but adulting sucks. Um, adulting is the worst and it never gets easier and I'm only stepping further and more into adulthood and I'm very stressed about it. Um, but it will all be worth it in the end, hopefully. Um, dealing with things like insurance and you know, mortgage rates and like 401k and all of that stuff freaking sucks taxes hate that still that's still awful um we're getting through it which is very nice oh a big thing i learned um your expectations and your i guess i'm trying to say is like your expectations are not crazy and like are not um are not too much to ask for. Know what you want, and there will be someone out there that can do those things for you and is the perfect match for you. So don't sell yourself short and don't compromise. If if you know in your heart what you really want in someone and what you expect out of your life and what you want your life to be. I think that's important, yeah. Cause I used to think things were like, I was being ridiculous over, certain things and that like it was an unrealistic expectation and then like now like being in such a happy relationship I realized they're not ridiculous at all I just didn't know how to be loved properly um that was a big thing me and Ethan talked about recently that he's also realized that you know he's always felt like underappreciated and no one like really appreciated the things he, he would do for them which is mind-boggling to me because he is so thoughtful and I don't know how anyone could be, like, could not appreciate that. Um, and I am someone who has never been loved properly and until I've met him and, like, it's, like, the perfect, perfect dynamic because, like, he is so thoughtful and does so much for me and I appreciate everything he does and, you know, want to do things in return for him. So it's just a really great balance. Um, so, yeah, your expectations are not ridiculous. You just need to know what you want, and so, and there will be someone out there who can fulfill those um, those qualities. Oh, another big thing, um, your body gives you so many signs when something is wrong, and if something isn't right, and you just need to listen to it. Um, I have been so less anxious this um, this year um, than I have in years past, and. I realized that it was my body talking to me the whole time and that if I surround myself with good people, like I'm a lot less anxious, which is very nice. And I'm still anxious at times, but I'm not having these giant like um, anxiety filled episodes that take like a week and a half to go away. Um, I'm surround myself with people who can uh, help me work through my issues and um, talk through my feelings and just help me live every day and it has been so nice <laughs> uh, but surround yourself with good people and people that care about you because there's a lot of fake people in this world and like no one has to be your friend so surround yourself with people who want to be your friend and want to be there for you when you need them the most okay I feel like that's a decent amount of things learned this year so thank you guys so much for watching as always make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on my latest content you can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok at the 100 to stay up to date on the content there and I will see you next week Thursday at 6 p.m. bye